And we're live. Well, it's right at uh, 7 o'clock, Jim. I think we're right on time. <laughs> okay. Well, 7 o'clock, you say. 9 o'clock, I say. <laughs> it, it, well, welcome, I everybody. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to <laughs> the best online marketing webinar. Tonight, uh, the alien... Mike Barnes and myself will be talking to you about your social media toolbox. We're going to get uh, started in just a few minutes here. We want to give everybody a chance to get on. Uh, we're going to be talking about the plethora there is out there of things that you can use to augment your social media presence and hopefully get more out of it. I would say that they're about 90% of what's out there is good tools but unnecessary. And we're going to cut through the, uh, the, the hype and get down to brass tacks and tell you what is and isn't useful, what could potentially be dangerous to your account with some of the, uh, some of the social media sites. And uh, I think that you will enjoy what you see in here. So anyway, boy, look at this. We got a whole bunch of them popping up here, everything from TwitPick to Hootsuite to Peer Index to Cred to Social Oomph to Clout. Uh, a couple there that I had not really been all that familiar with until we started putting this presentation together. I'm looking forward to hearing more about Tweepy. <laughs> Let's face it, there are probably more Twitter um, third-party applications than just about any other uh, social media site, wouldn't you say, Mike? Um, you caught me off guard, Jim. I was loading some I'm pages. Sorry. I was loading some pages on the side here, <laughs> and I, I was like, I was like listening to you. But uh, repeat the question. <laughs> I was just commenting that probably Twitter is the social media site that has the most third-party applications uh, accessing it. Absolutely. I, I need a third-party application to listen and do things at the same time. Yeah, um, I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what, what multitasking is to me is doing many things wrong. You see, here's, here's my theory on all that, is that essentially uh, when what women call multitasking for us, it's ADD. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, but anyway, so we're going to be diving in here in just a moment. Uh, I think we've pretty much given everybody a chance to get in. It's a few minutes after nine. Um, but uh, we've been talking about a lot of different things over the past several weeks. Had a lot of uh, uh, guest hosts, or not hosts, but guest uh, speakers on the program, and we're kind of back down to just Mike and I again, and I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, on that note, though, if anyone does care to join us and they have something to offer, we'd uh, be more than happy to have you on the call. But uh, it is it is nice to get back to uh, doing what we do best, Jim, and that's that's sharing a lot of content on, on what's out there and, and how to use it and just how to get more out of your social media. Mm -hmm. Now, before, yep. before we uh, um, started the show, I, I put out a uh, survey online <coughs> for... Um, what what's the most popular social media tools or what social media tools are you familiar with and, and recommend and use and I was somewhat uh, surprised a little bit by what I saw mm -hmm. uh, number one was Hootsuite and we're, we're gonna go through the top major ones here and show you exactly mm -hmm. how how you use them and how to benefit from them in, in a couple minutes but mm -hmm. uh, just to go over these results it is very interesting um, Hootsuite being number one, I, I, I really didn't expect that. Um, what I did not expect was Clout to be number two. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. And we're going to go through Clout tonight and sh show you some of the benefits of Clout. And the one that really surprised me was Bitly being number nine. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're not familiar with some of the benefits of Twitly, I think you might be surprised at some of the things you can do with Bitly tonight. And then mm -hmm. Dig, Dig Dig, can you? Uh, that's the, <laughs> That's a uh, that's it's it's really a social media sharing tool that you can put on your blogs to encourage people to share, but there's a lot of 
benefits to dig dig as well um, as far as sharing on social media um, it's also you can if you have a Google AdSense account there's a way to make some extra cash on dig dig as well uh, I, I won't know that uh, ha -ha. <laughs> I, I, I can do one just on dig dig it's it's that powerful the um, we won't get into dig dig tonight because that's more of a plug-in for WordPress but mm -hmm. uh, it's there and then you'll notice uh, then it starts uh, weeding down a little bit buffer is sort of similar mm -hmm. uh, sort of similar to dig dig but with uh, quite a few differences mm -hmm. uh, buffer you can post posts and things like that and then uh, cred which is short for credibility that's a pretty popular site uh, tweet deck um, there's a lot of sites out there and, and like you said earlier it's so easy to get lost with everything that's out there to help you enhance your social media but I, I, I think it's important for us to understand why we use these social media tools in the first place and if you're looking to get more sales through social media but re you really don't have the extra time I mean let's face it the, I mean you could literally stay online all day long and I know people that uh, that get lost in it and they're, they don't accomplish anything they're just posting 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 and posting and nothing's really happening well these social media let's, tools, let's face it the yep. let's face it the term time suck pretty much was invented for social media because yeah. people tend to people tend to get you know into I mean Facebook itself uh, if you just talk about Facebook people go into there and just lose a whole day you know and absolutely it's just so easy to do and Twitter is the same way Twitter will just every time I sit down and say okay I've got to spend a little bit of time in Twitter and I, I budget out maybe a half an hour of time and two and a half hours later I'm still sitting there <laughs> I know I know um, yeah, one thing about Twitter and I, I hardly ever log into my Twitter page um, most of it's mm -hmm. on, on my mobile phone and or with one of the tools I'm going to share with you here tonight but uh, the number one reason I think why we use social media is or these social media tools to automate some of our social media activities which take the most time and I, I really do think it's important to understand the advantages and disadvantages of automating social media and there's some big ones mm -hmm. um, first of all the advantage is the obvious one it saves you time and effort uh, you can delegate tasks um, and have them automatically post out uh, yeah. it also keeps your followers happy because it appears like you're posting fresh stuff little do they know that you might have posted some of this stuff 30 days in advance mm -hmm. um, and when done correctly it really can help your SEO ranking as well and that's the key there is when done correctly okay because because, you, because the, the opposite is true also when done wrong it can actually hurt you and do you a great deal of damage SEO wise so that's that's definitely something to understand uh, and I, yeah, and I should have put that in the disadvantages. Uh, but I guess one of the disadvantages just says what the first one is what you kind of point on. Not only can it look spammy, but you can be uh, identified as a spammer if you're not doing this correctly. Um, the other thing is it's difficult to automate the right content. And a lot of people, what they, they, they do is they may automate something and it's not time sensitive anymore. So how do you automate time sensitive? And I'll show you that tonight as well. And if you automate your social media you can literally automate yourself completely out of business it, you have to pay attention uh, as far as for the way I use these tools for automation is as a supplement to what I'm doing so mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm taking uh, if I'm posting once a day through automation I'm also posting between that as a real person uh, right. the other stuff is is to put uh, time sensitive information out there and I'll show you how to find that and how to do that tonight <coughs> excuse me so why use social media tools if you remember not too long ago when the most valuable currency on the internet was your domain name <laughs> oh yeah most definitely that's what everybody was going for everyone's buying that real popular valuable domain name um, selling them for in some cases thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, it would, and it would, you know, tied to page rank, which of course is becoming less and less important as well. Yeah. Well, and now it's becoming more of social media influence. And I wrote on the Alien website well over a year and a half ago 
um, about social media influence when it was just starting to be a new word. And I think by now a lot more people are hearing about it. But uh, that's reason number two to use social media tools is to find and get in with the top social media influ influencers. This can help you tremendously when it comes to making any one of your tweets, any one of your posts on Facebook, anything that you're putting out there will help it go viral by being with the right social media influencers. And, and just to answer the question, if anyone's asking, and by the way, in the comments below this video, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. Uh, we're going to be watching this as we go and, and uh, we'll answer them as we go along. But to, to simply put, social media influence is the ability to drive action. So when you add it all up, it has to do with followers, has to do with people that share your content, it has to, people, has to do with those people that sharing your content, how many people they have that reshare that comment, likes and comments. And before I get to my really fancy diagram that I designed today, Jim, do you have anything you want to add to that? I, I kind of <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, it, <laughs> that's so well put. The social media influence is the ability to drive action. And let's face it, as if you're a business person online, that you're a marketer, what are you trying to do? You're trying to motivate people to do something that they had not initially intended to do. That's kind of the definition of, of being a marketer. Yeah, and there's and what's cool about it is when you do this correctly. You can get involved with some huge social media influences out there that are more than happy to retweet your stuff, and of course, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and it's amazing uh, they actually people do it, and you mm -hmm. have to reciprocate. Don't get me wrong; you have to pay attention, and and they'll keep doing it for you. So here's my fancy little diagram with my circles. Um, here you are. <laughs> okay, so. You go out and you post something on social media. What happens next? Well, you want people to like it, right? Obviously. Mm -hmm. You want people to comment on it. Commenting is a huge part of things going viral. And this is really part two of last week's webinar. Um, so it's kind of a continuation of last week. And we, we did talk about commenting and how that influences uh, other people seeing those comments and things like that. So that's huge. Mm -hmm. And the other thing you want people to do is what? Share it, right? Well, if, if you aren't involved with a, with a large group of social media influencers, um, if, if somebody shares it and they only have two followers, it's not really doing you a lot of good. What you really want is you want that large influence, that group of lot, large influencers to repost, to like, to do all those things. And then what happens is it literally... Get, goes out to hundreds, if not millions, and I say that again with my <laughs> saying it, okay, millions of followers. I'm going to prove that to you. I've got it. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove it. Um, it doesn't work. Okay. So yep. let's let's go to work. Um, posting a thousand times and getting zero responses is not as influential as posting once and getting a thousand responses. And uh, I want. I hope that sinks in for everybody. Um, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter how many times you post. People, I, I see them posting five, ten, fifteen, twenty times a day, and sometimes within five minutes of each other. That's not really doing a heck of a lot of good mm -hmm. uh, in most cases. Okay, at yeah. ninety percent of the time, it, it's it's posting that one post that goes out to a ton of different uh, again social media influencers that, that that like it and share it. Um, and I have I have some favorites, and I'll talk about those in a few minutes as well. And you can find your own. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do. And again, it isn't about how much somebody talks. It's about how many people listen and respond. And those are the people that you're looking for. You're looking for the listeners. You're looking for the responders. And it, again, it's great to have a lot of connections, but what really matters is how people engage with that content that you're creating. Okay? Very true. And right below this video, you'll see links to uh, several of the social media sites that we're going to be discussing tonight. Uh, and if you care to, you know, walk through them with us and take a look at them as we're going through them, feel free to. They'll open in a new window, so you should still be able to hear us as we're as we're talking about these. And 
let's just jump right in with clout. And Jim, uh, you're familiar with clout. I am. I am. Uh, my, my clout score has recently dipped a little bit, but I'm still, you know, solidly in the 60s. So I feel pretty good about that. Okay. <laughs> and and we're going to talk a little bit more about what you can do to help uh, make your jump score or your clout score go up, or what makes it go down. Uh, I really don't put a lot of credence in the actual clout score, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's getting more accurate than it was a year ago, I believe. Um, and the reason that is, Jim, simply is this, is if you're using just Facebook and Twitter, you're not going to have as big of a job, uh, clout score as somebody that's using Pinterest, Twitter, um, Facebook, uh, Google+, Plus, um, Flickr, all the different social media sites. So that, that was that was initially kind of how I was using it was to get a gauge of if I was uh, putting forth a balanced social media presence. So exactly. I mean, like yourself, like yourself, the, the scores themselves, it's all relative. But uh, you know, kind of like with Alexa, you know, a lot of people will say, well, that's not a true measure of how popular a website is. No, but it does give you a relative benchmark to compare. And, and see where you need to make some changes. And that's kind of how I was doing cloud. Yeah, that's, that's an excellent way to use cloud. Uh, if, if you just used it for that, that's, a, that's an excellent gauge. Um, while I was preparing this presentation this morning, I, I was going and I was giving some people clout. And you'll see right uh, at 19 minutes ago, I gave uh, Mandy, um, and she's extremely popular in social media, as I'll show you this in a few minutes. But I gave her clout. Ten minutes later, ten minutes later, she replied back, "Thank you so very much." Now, the other thing I want to make sure that people understand is if people reply back to you on these things, you want to reply back to them because then it goes on your page and it's kind of like yeah. everybody sees each other. Nobody sees where she replied back to me unless I replied back to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, but here's what's important. Let's take a look at. Uh, and what happens after this? Mandy's got uh, one thousand one. Excuse me, one hundred and twenty nine thousand one hundred and twenty four followers. Wow. Right? Um, she's she's really huge in social media, and I, I'll show you how I found her in a few minutes. But uh, just for her to retweet me, I, it, and Jim, I know you love it when I say this. I exposed myself to all of <laughs> 129,124 followers. Mike, 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 am I going to have to bail you out again? <laughs> <laughs> again and again and again. Uh, but just 129,000 followers. Now I'm going to show you something in a few minutes where people really kind of they get mixed up if they're not using their proper tools. Because I know mm -hmm. some people that have tw uh, uh, two thousand, three thousand followers on Twitter, and have mm -hmm. a have a, a huge social media influence, because those people that are yeah. following them are huge. So, so the numbers alone really don't mean a lot. Of course, they are important, mm -hmm. but they're not the primary indicator of how popular somebody is. But uh, in, in her case, it, it is true. Because check out this next screen. Um, if you're not familiar with clout, is it, clout is a score from zero to a hundred. Um, to to get above seventy is extremely difficult. Yeah, right? that's amazing. Okay, it is absolutely difficult to stay above seventy. Well, Mandy's at, a, at an eighty-two, and wow, that's huge. So. How did this? Uh, and then uh, what happened next? Of course, is she replied back, and then after that, I, um, look at she even favorited. It. So, so when you go mm -hmm. to the favorites, when you go to her page and you go to favorites, everybody can see see where she favored it, and that's a link to my Twitter page. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and what happens with social media is people go in and they look at people's favorites or their favorite lists, and they start following people around. Uh, because they want to see again who's popular, who's sharing what. Okay, so let's uh, let's back up a step here. Let's go live to cloud, and and let's just go through cloud a little bit and show you some of the features, some of the benefits of it. When you first sign into cloud, what you want to do is you want to go to your settings and you want to attach all your different social networks and create your profile. In fact, you can attach your networks up here just by clicking these little buttons. 
Mm-hmm. And that's what I was saying earlier. It, um, if you're only on three different social networks, you're not going to get the clout. Um, if you if you're not right. using all these other social networks, you're not going to get the clout. So it's it really mm-hmm. is for the people that are doing a lot of uh, social media. But here's how the average person can use it. You can go in and you can search people. And for example, I can go to my friends. And what's this? What this is going to show is all my friends on Facebook and what their clout scores are. And you'll see there's unregistered. And here's what's amazing. I mean, I've got a little over, I think, 1,300 friends on Facebook. I know mm-hmm. you, you, you've maxed out on several of yours. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, here's uh, 79.8% of my friends are not on clout. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, but of the ones that are, here's the, here they are. I can put my mouse over these people. Um, like Floor and Al, he's huge. Um, he's got a clout score of seven. Uh, so the you know the bigger circles are the bigger the uh, the, the social media influence. I can. Hey, also I see me. Uh, I, I, I see me. There? <laughs> yeah, I was. Okay. It just said Jim, Jim Pa. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but you're there. I can also go to yep. top, top clout scores and go through all my mm-hmm. friends and go through all of their uh, all of them and their top clout scores. Here's Florin from Squirrely. There's Jim Patterson. Um, Jimmy had the same club score some, as mine. And I, I go up yeah, and down he, a little bit. But here's how you can do this is you can find your top people that are on here and you can you can give them clout. I'll, I'll go in that yeah. in, in a minute. And you only get up to 10 clouts. Um, Shelly, mm-hmm. uh, a good friend of mine that is very, very uh, into clout, uh, was explaining to me earlier how this works. Um, you can't go higher than 10 and you hmm. get you get clout so give them away um, if you don't use them they'll, they'll disappear you have to use hmm. them um, you can also create lists like you'll see I have a social media list my best clout friends blog you can create hmm. as many lists as you want and what's cool about this too is let me go back to my profile page is what it does is it shares all my momentous moments of social media if you will <laughs> uh, okay, and like here's all this. This one here had t- a ton of engagers. Okay, um, on Facebook, and if you go down the page, it'll show my Google Plus moments, uh, but it shows your most popular moments. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it also shows your influencers. Here's your influencers on the left. These are the people that to influence you the most. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then here's my topics. Now I can go to see more, and I can go to manage my topics. And I can adjust my topics that I want to other people to give me clout for. Uh-huh. For example, I can take out uh, media and I can add NASA because everybody knows I'm an alien. Space nut. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I could, I could, if I wanted to. You're only allowed to have ten on the left, but this is how I okay. move these around too. I can move Google up if I want to, but these mm-hmm. are the categories of you know how I, I want to be recognized, and hopefully people will get, give me clout for that. So let's go to, uh, let's do a search for at Jim Patterson. Like, okay, and we're going to do a search, and here's Jim Patterson. And I can go and I can, I can take a look at uh, Jim's top influencers or YouTube, okay, Cloud. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, there's me right there. Yeah. Yeah. And I can see, is, is Jim somebody that I want to follow? Because I can probably follow, not. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Using cloud, if if he is that uh, influential person, if if he's not uh, posting political stuff all the time, <laughs> um, admittedly, I do a bit of that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I can go see, and I can I can just right here see a brief glimpse of all of Jim's major moments on social media. Well, right here, I can follow Jim on Twitter just by clicking that button. I'm already following you, so it's not blue. Okay, yeah. now what I can do, which is really cool, is here's Jim's topics. And I can go to see more. Mm-hmm. Okay. And what it's going to do is it's going to post all of your topics, like the way I just shared with you, how you can adjust them. So, Jim, if yeah. you don't want to be recognized as health, go in and adjust your settings. Um, yeah. You got a point there. The health, the health nut you are, right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. <laughs> you're running the 10 mile every morning, right? Exactly. In my in my dreams, yeah. yeah there you, go. <laughs> but you understand. I mean, you put what you want to be recognized in here. 
Now I can go in and I can give you clout. Okay, so I can give you a clout for technology. You see, I have seven left. So I can give you mm -hmm. clout. Now I can tweet it or I can share it on Facebook. Typically, okay. typically, and it's totally up to you how you want to do this. Um, I typically yeah. want to tweet it. I, I hardly put it on Facebook, mm -hmm. but I'm going to tweet that Jim Patterson, um, I gave him clout. Now, these top people, the ones with the real top social media influence, mm -hmm. they're, they have, they're, they're top for a reason. It's because most, oh, yeah. most of them know the game. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and what they're going to do is they're going to either thank you and make it public in front of all of their followers that you gave them clout. Okay. And, or they're going to come back and give you clout in one of your categories. Yeah. And that's, that's real cool. Cause that's going to help you move you up in mm -hmm. social media. Okay. Now there's one. And, okay. Now, interestingly, there. interestingly, as much as there is interfaces between the various uh, sites and everything, if I'm hearing you correctly, clout is essentially a, a site that's about helping you establish authority by giving authority away. <laughs> Am I, you know, yeah, or, yeah. you know, by helping other people establish authority, you're going to interact with those people, and you put yourself in a position to get kudos from the, the biggest people in your niches. Absolutely, and and the other thing too is in a lot of my other um, social media sites, like I use Scoop It. Okay, scoop not it a lot. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of people that rescoop my scoops. Um, and mm -hmm. Jared Bass is, is one of them. And a real good way of giving uh, propers back to people um, is maybe I'm not sharing enough of his posts on Scoop It. So mm -hmm. one thing I can do in here is I can go in and I can go to see more. Mm -hmm. And to return the favor for Jared for, for doing all the things he's doing for me. I can mm -hmm. give him a plus. Okay, I'm gonna tweet this, and I will. I will promise you. If you go to my Twitter page, um, I think it might be two o'clock in the morning where he's from, or I, Jarrett might be from Texas. I'm not sure. But in any case, <laughs> I can guarantee you that he will thank me, and he'll come back, and he'll give me clout, and he'll mm -hmm. again uh, give me exposure to all of his social media followers by doing it. So yeah. that's 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 one way you can use uh, clout. Um, another thing I like to do again is when I go back to uh, the profile, mm -hmm. I can go to Twitter, and now I can find all. Uh, I mean, Twitter. We're we're following uh, in many cases thousands of people on Twitter, so yeah. I can go in and I can go to highest clout score, and you can wow. see that with my highest clout score. And this is how I found Mandy. Okay. Okay. Um, but I can go to any one of these people and give them clout. Right. Mm -hmm. and I know that when I do, I, uh, they're going to return the favor back to me and, and give me that exposure as well. Yeah. That, that clout yeah. score, this is where you use it right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to say, when you were when you're on the general page of uh, not just Twitter or Facebook, but your, um, your clout friends and you hit highest clout scores, I was pretty impressed with some of the connections you had there. There, there was some some really real movers and shakers in online marketing that you have uh, connections to. I appreciate that, um, and and I'm going to share with you a tool in just a few minutes that will help weed out the people you you don't need to be following because if you're following a ton of people that have a real so, low social media score, mm -hmm. it hurts you. It hurts your social media score. Now that doesn't say that you can't have your best friends that you know maybe have a a close score or two. Um, yeah. You know, you don't want to get rid of them to lose your friends. But what I'm saying is the majority should not be people that are fake Twitter names. There's a lot of fake Twitter people out there. Um, yeah. The egg, the egg pictures, as they say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm going to share with you a couple tools on how to do that. And hopefully here, let's see if we have any questions. Now we don't have any questions on, on uh, clout, but there's a tool. That is extremely valuable, and I would suggest getting on clout. The next one, and these are in no particular order, by the way. I just, I just wanted to share with you the ones that I use the most, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and the ones that I think um, are are the most valuable to me. 
And keep in mind too, Jim, and you know this, I, I do this for, you know, close to 50 other companies a month. So I have to yeah. have some sort of a tool that helps me or, or else I, I'd never, I'd, I, I'd never do anything else but sit in front of my computer and do this. So I yeah. do have tools. Uh, mm -hmm. One of those tools I use is Now they I've, do. That's, that's one I've been using for years now. I've, I think I've had a social info account for maybe four or five years. Are you grandfathered in to the? Uh, uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And and with the base features alone, with the free version, um, you get a ton of benefits with it. Um, mm -hmm. If uh, this one here is probably <laughs> purge your direct message inbox, um, how many direct messages? <laughs> um, that's one way you can do it. Okay. Um, but with the paid version, and it's not much. It's like uh, three dollars and ninety-seven. So it's like you know, eight bucks. Four bucks. Yeah. Eight bucks, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's worth it when you see what this does. It, it, the amount of time that it saves you, if you put your. So again, this is primarily primarily a Twitter tool, am I right? You can use it for a lot more. You can, but I don't. Um, okay. I, I I use it just. I mean, my biggest reason I use it is to send direct messages to new followers and to vet new followers. Uh -huh. uh, and you you can do it in a way like for example, if the, if they use the default Twitter pi uh, picture, if they haven't taken yeah. the time to put in their own picture, I don't follow them back. It's it's in the automation settings. If they haven't posted, or if it's a if it's a brand new account within one day, I've, I think I have mm -hmm. it set where I I don't automatically follow them back. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. And. Shelly, my good friend, she she went and she did a, a search on my Twitter page to see how many fake followers I had, and she was amazed. Like I have, my true Twitter followers were like ninety nine percent. Yeah, um, and this is one of the reasons why. That's strong. I that's strong. Yeah, that's real strong. So let me jump into uh, to social oomph and show you some of the benefits. Now notice up here, I do have the free version. Like Jim, I signed up for this four or five years ago. And when you do sign up, you are grandfathered in. Um, oh, I just lost my. I'm gonna have to shrink this and get my picture back. But at any rate, um, if, you, if you register for a free account, you can upgrade mm -hmm. later. Um, but you, you know, you know, it's not you not you don't have to. But right. the features of your free account remain free forever. So, if you sign up now and then they go to a paid version of some feature later on. It, you don't yeah, it. It will not, you don't lose it. You don't. You don't lose, lose it. it. Yeah, right. it will always be a. Uh, it will always be. Let me just move around here a little bit. It will always be a free uh, feature for you. Right. So here is. Let's just jump around in here and let's play with uh, with social for a little bit. Uh, one of the things is you can add a new social account. Now with the free version, it's just Twitter. Okay. And then what you can do is you can auto, um, you can see all my business accounts in here. I, I literally have uh -huh. quite a few. But let's go to uh, edit automation so you can kind of get a look at this. Here's here's all my customers' accounts, okay? Uh, not wow. all, but a majority of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can go through and you can edit these. So let's go down to uh, best online marketing webinar and take a look at this and see what we have set up for this. Now I do come in and I change these direct messages at least once a month because you don't want them to be the same and there's a good reason why and they'll explain it to you right here. You can yeah. actually rotate welcome messages. But here I have my auto automatically send a welcome message to new followers mm -hmm. and it sends this message, join us at the best online marketing webinar. Now I saw uh, there, there may be some social media managers out there that are going to totally disagree with what I say and that's fine. Um, <laughs> and, and that's you shouldn't use a direct message and I, I really don't understand why they say that because um, it doesn't make sense to me because you can rotate these but yeah. but I did hear a statistic a couple of weeks ago that direct messages on Twitter are like read 80% uh -huh. more than any other Twitter message so, <laughs> so just sending a direct message I think is extremely worth it uh, I would say so because they're click the click through ratio, not the read ratio, but the click through ratio is like eighty percent. Don't quote me on that, but it was pretty high. Yeah. Um, and then I have a auto follow setting, automatically follow people 
who follow me from this point forward. Okay. Now, I think that's very important. I think that's very important because here's the thing: there are a lot of people using some form of automation out there, and if you do not follow them in, uh, in a timely manner, they're going to drop you. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people don't uh, don't don't get that. Um, mm -hmm. You have to follow them back in a certain amount of time. Now, I'm going to show you a tool here in just a couple minutes as well that's going to allow you to uh, get rid of some people that you may have automatically followed back that you don't want to be following. Mm -hmm. so, so once a month, sometimes once every two months, I'll go in and I'll clean out my followers. Mm -hmm. um, because I really don't pay attention to it until I log in and, and weed them out. But I'm going to show you that in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Another really cool feature about this is your monitors. Um, I can go into mentions and retweets on Twitter. Now, I can. there's also several tools. I'm going to show you one again in a minute you can use for the same purpose. But what this can do is show you all of your retweets, all the people that mention you. Because just because you have a Twitter account, you don't see the people that mention you, okay? You don't. Um, it's true. It's not, it doesn't show up on your Twitter page. Mm -hmm. you, ha you, have to, you have to have some sort of a tool to see everything. And you'll see where um, Shelly, <laughs> we were talking back and forth today on our member site about uh, mm -hmm. cloud. So that's why, she, you know, two hours ago she was giving me all these propers. But uh, I can slide down through here see every tweet every mention and I'm just waiting for my page to load here mm -hmm. um, when I'm doing a hangout it sometimes takes a little longer to load <laughs> but I can, uh, yeah. can I can click this drop down menu and it'll show every individual account I have so if if you have uh, if you have several different pages it will show mm -hmm. it to you um, that's that's one Let me, let's see if I can get back into that mm -hmm. Going to show you Tweepy in a minute. I might have to relog back into social and fear. Let me give that a try. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so the other uh, one I like is uh, in monitors. I can go to keyword alerts. Um, that that uh, I'll show you that. Uh, you can get alerted on keywords. So if someone's posting a specific keyword, like maybe it's real estate or maybe it's hot sauce or something like that, <laughs> go in there. Um, Mike is, by the way, folks, Mike is the social media uh, mogul for the real estate and the hot sauce industries. Well, <laughs> that's why he uses those as examples all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I was. Uh, I just, you know, I know John Wood, or John, yeah, John yeah. Good's a, a follower of ours, and he's uh, he's always, uh, he's in the hot sauce business, so I always yeah. think. He's probably on there now. <laughs> okay, so uh, the monitors is good. There's one that's missing here for some reason, and that's, you can see all the latest news. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, it didn't pop up for some reason, but you can see all the latest news, and I use it quite a bit. Um let me see if I can. You sure it's not in your logs? Let me see if I can't find it. No, it used to be under here. Um, that ain't right. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But there is a place on here that you can see all the latest new. Oh, here it is right here. Channels. Is that what you said, okay. Jim? It's under channels. I said logs. Okay. I well, said logs, but that's fine. Yeah. Here's the one. See, I'm, I'm following. You can go up here and you can change this to breaking news. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go to breaking news, it will post all the late. Here's all the latest breaking news. So it gives uh -huh. you it gives you some stuff to retweet. Uh, this is 41 minutes mm -hmm. ago, so I can click retweet and I can retweet it on whatever social uh, uh, Twitter page I want to. Um, yeah, that's good. So whatever your niche is, you can tip. Uh, here's celebrities. So here's all the latest celebrity news. So if you're looking for good <laughs> content. Um, that you can retweet for you for your followers, just a pretty good place to find it. That's but again, again, the main reasons why I use uh, uh, social media is for the recognition of the yeah. and, and I really do. I mean, just think about the time that you're spending on this. Um, mm -hmm. For $9 a month, I think it's well worth it. 
and yeah, I'd say so. There's a link again right below, below this video that you can use to get to, to get your account. Yep. Try it out for free. I think they've got a, uh, a a time period on it. Yeah. A word of warning: I do believe if you do upgrade and then you go back to a free account, I think that you that your grandfathering in on uh, on older versions that were free, I think you lose that. So if you're gonna if you're gonna try out free for a little while, do exactly that, and you know if if you have, particularly if you've had account for a while, you, you know. John, I'm sorry, but John Good just posted. I'm here. I'm here. So our hot sauce <laughs> friend is here. Of course he is. Of course he is. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's glad. and and uh, yeah, I, I should have uh, mentioned earlier something about, but I'll leave it alone. Let's go okay. here. Let's go. Um, Tweepy. Uh, Tweepy. Tweepy. I've been looking forward to hearing about this one. This this is a new one to me. I had never heard of it until you mentioned it uh, during last week's webinar. Uh, so really looking forward to, to hearing about this. And there's a ton I didn't show you, so hang on, because this is really cool. <laughs> now, now that you understand a little bit more about clout and, and you know the clout influence, I think this will make a little bit more sense to everybody. But the basic uh, essentials to Tweepy, and and I, listen again, I use the free version. I've never I've never paid for an upgrade, hmm. um, so I believe you know if it's powerful enough for me, the free version is powerful enough for you. Uh, <laughs> You, I would say so. This is where you can flush your unfollowers. So if you're following people that aren't following you back, you can get rid of them. And that's very important mm -hmm. for Twitter because I don't believe you can go over 20,000 uh, Twitter followers or even 10,000 Twitter followers or even 2,000. Excuse me. It's 2,000 Twitter followers if you don't have like a 10 or 20% ratio. I can't remember exactly what it is. Yeah. I, I know that um, for where I'm at, the ratio is 15%. Okay. So... It is important to, uh, to keep your, your uh, ratio pretty even. Balance, yeah. And then you can reciprocate, meaning that if you have people following you, you can follow them back. But if you're using social oomph to auto-follow people, then there's no need mm -hmm. to use this tool. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can clean up the inactives, meaning uh, you don't want people on Twitter that aren't real. And this cleans them up. Mm -hmm. um, I've never used this that just came out so I can't really talk intelligently about that one um, and then you can follow new peeps now this is really cool Jim. I think you'll you'll be totally impressed with this so let's jump to Tweepy and show you how this works um, when you first create an account it's going to ask you to uh, to create a name you have to use a name and an email but I never get junk mail from Tweepy I never do it's I don't get anything uh, maybe every once in a while, but I, um, maybe, I, I just don't. Now you notice, like I have two accounts in here. The, the free version, you can uh, add several accounts. I'm not sure what the limit is, uh, but I have the SEO alien. I have Mike J Barnes. Okay, right. so mm -hmm. I, I can I can switch between these two accounts right here. I don't mm -hmm. have to log in and log back out again. Um, up at the top, I can do this: flush the unfollowers. And I'll touch on this real quick because this is where we kind of left off last week. Mm -hmm. What it's doing is uh, it's telling me Tweepy's, Tweepy's getting your friends and followers count to 10 and refresh the page. If you have more than 50,000 followers, you may need to count to 20. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's refresh the page. And I have a little over 20,000 followers, and here they are. So you'll see uh, when I go down the page here, they all load. I have nine mm -hmm. pages of people that are not following me back. And that doesn't necessarily mean I want to flush everybody. Okay. Right. There's a couple things I can do. Do you see clout score right here? Uh, yes. Right up here it says load clout. I'm going to load That's clout. great. I'm going to load clout. Um, wow. And then what you're going to see in here right off the bat should be a red flag. This very first person, last tweet mm -hmm. eight months ago. 37 <laughs> yeah. followers. No clout. Dump that guy. <laughs> so I want to immediately dump that guy. Okay, yeah. now a shortcut to this is I can click this top box, and then after I click it, hold the shift button down, or excuse me, slide down to the bottom of the page, then hold the shift button down and click the last person and see how everybody highlighted. Yep. So, okay, and that has to do with uh, Twitter's um, 
Yeah, just so, so you all understand, you see, you see there's that button at the top there that you would assume is like a select all. The problem is that Twitter's terms of service, service does not allow a select all button. Okay, exactly. So, yeah. yeah, I think it says it when it pops up, right? Yeah, it's yeah it you. does, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of sites got shut down because they were violating Twitter, and you don't want to mess with Twitter. Um, no. <laughs> ask me why I know. Um, I've had several accounts that uh, they've, they've, when I was in the testing mode earlier, okay, now there are a few people here that I want to remain following. I want to follow Johnny. I want to follow uh, uh, Don Jensen, but everybody else in here, it looks uh, Twitter land. I, I follow them. So everybody else, I'm just going to click unfollow. Okay. And you'll see right here, your last action queued for unfollowing. So they're yeah. making sure they're using Twitter compliance and Twitter rules and, and doing it within their mm -hmm. rules that you won't get banned. The only thing yeah. you don't want to do is, uh, and I'll show you in a minute, when you follow other followers, never follow more than 100 at a time. It, it's uh -huh. just a little thumb. Okay, yeah. so now I can go to the next page and I can do the same thing. I can go ahead and flush mm -hmm. all these people out that aren't following me back. Um, there are a few, you know, I want to follow Clout. A lot of these people, you know, like your celebrities and things like that, they're not going to follow you back for the most part. If they no. do, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just mm -hmm. going to click unfollow. And, you know, I just did two pages. Uh, so I'm on page three of nine. I'm not going to go through each one, but I could if I wanted. Right. To. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me something with with the different cat um uh, columns there. You would loaded clout before. If you click on clout score, will it organize all nine pages based on clout score? Yes, you can uh, organize it in descending or ascending order. Okay. Uh, cool. I do this sometimes when I want to flush out uh, people that uh, aren't following me back. Um, and really get uh, specific about it. Here's Penny Rockstar. You know, how does he have a clout score of 44.9? I'm not uh, following <laughs> me. Last tweet, unknown, never, but he has 86,000 followers. <laughs> you know, that's, that's weird. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't know that unless I went in here. If I just went by when's the last person tweeted, unknown, never, you think, well, I'm going to unfollow him. Yeah. Um, Here's a stock gecko five months ago, no clout score, but he's got 92,000. Yeah, you know, that's a question mark if you want to leave. Yeah. How you do this. Okay, the other one, let's jump down here, is to the reciprocate. I don't have to mm -hmm. use it because I'm using social oomph. Okay? Yeah. Um, and there's another cool one in here, which is users of followers. Excuse me, I clicked the wrong one. Users followers. So let's say I wanted to follow Jim Patterson's followers or influential okay. uh, followers of Jim Patterson. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it tells me here's Jim Patterson's profile. And I can go in and do exactly what we just talked about, Jim. I can go in and I can go to clout score. And I yeah. can score it by clout. So maybe I want to follow your people that have the highest clout scores. Right. Okay. So, and what it does is it does it by, it doesn't do it overall. It does it by page. So right now I'm on page one of 250. Okay. So what it's doing is <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's adjusting page one. Right. Okay. okay. Um, and I went the wrong way on the clout score, I guess. So, there it goes. Okay. So, oops. Excuse me. So here's a clout score 58 one. So maybe I want to follow this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? We already are mutual. It tells me right there. There you go. Okay. So I can go through, and then the other good thing about this too is there's other um, there's other columns in here that I can do. I yeah. can get their bio. I can do their location. So if I want to go through and I just want to follow people in Florida, I can just mm -hmm. find people in Florida. Yeah. Okay, and I just follow those people. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that I'd like to do on Twitter too is a lot of cases, people that haven't completed their profile, I don't want mm -hmm. to follow them. Um, these no. people right here with you in the egg yeah I don't want to I don't want to follow the eggs and look at this Jim you got two tweets six tweets three tweets on eggs so yeah. in your case you want to go through and you want to just uh, manage your Twitter and flush the unfollowers yeah and especially find these people that are using the eggs look at this zero four mm -hmm. okay yeah. uh, and get rid of them it, mm -hmm. and you can do this with with your favorite people so whatever niche you're in so this Go back here and go follow users. Um, 
uh, if you're in the, uh, can I use it again without being redundant, hot sauce business? Uh, <laughs> let's, let's go at hot sauce. I'm not sure this is a Twitter name. Okay, but. Uh, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it is. It looks like uh, it's David Woodward. It's not very popular. But what you can do is if you do know uh, one of your biggest uh, rivals or competitors' Twitter name, well, you can follow their followers who are their followers. There you go. Okay? And you can mm -hmm. jump right on board. Um, and I just did hot sauce. You know, so here's hot sauce world. Okay? So let's go back mm -hmm. and let's, let's look at hot sauce. How big is hot sauce world? Eh, they're not huge. In fact, you know what's amazing here is, is John Gid, you should be blown away by look at, looking at this. Uh, <laughs> all these other hot sauce companies away. They only got 137 yep. followers last tweet 11 months ago. So this is why it's important once you start your social media to keep doing it because mm -hmm. people look at this stuff. Okay. Uh, a word, word of caution here for everybody, though. Um, for instance, now, let's say that, uh, like with my, my case, Mike pointed out that I had several people there with the egg for the picture and not very many followers in that. Now, if I, let's say I went through and just flushed them all. Right now, I'm pretty well balanced. If all of a sudden I dumped, and I could, I could literally lose two, 3,000 followers that way. You know, people that I've actually dumped two, 3,000 people that I'm following, okay, that aren't following me. All of a sudden, I could be way out of balance, okay? That's the danger. You need yeah. to be very careful to, that you don't get end up out of balance, because then all of a sudden you can't follow people. That is that is a good point, Jim, and that's why when I do this, like I said, if you go in and do this once a month and manage it once a month, you'll never fall out of balance. Because if you unfollow fifty people or a hundred people, then follow mm -hmm. one hundred back. Yeah, and then within the next month you'll be balanced again. So you should. Yeah. And if at first you're extremely unbalanced, well then that's even more of a reason to get it cleaned up and start following real people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I had had someone not long ago ask me about a situation they had where they said, you know, basically, how can I get people to follow me when I can't follow them back? Um. So that, you know, because I'm out of balance, that is the one situation where I would say that you are justified in going to Fiverr or someplace and buying some Twitter followers. You, yeah. will, event you will eventually lose them. Don't get me wrong. They're not going to be permanent followers, but what you want to do is find one of the vendors that's offering ones that all have profile pics and people following them and that there is some activity in the account. You are still eventually going to lose them. I actually did this myself a while back because I was out of balance. And there was no way to get back in balance uh, because you couldn't follow anybody. Well, typically, so, Jim, typically, Jim, you're out of balance because you're following too many people. Yeah, that's true. So what you have here is you have a cleanup tool. Yeah. Okay. And, and yep. once you once you clean that up, then you can go back to following people. That's true. Yeah. Okay. And and that's true in most cases. So and again, here's here's the dashboard of it. Follow followers. Follow friends. You got a role model want to follow who they're following. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, follow lists. There's there's a lot of different tools with Tweepy on the free version of it. And again, mm -hmm. you'll see right here. I'm using the free version. I've I've never upgraded. It's it's extremely powerful. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So let's see if we got any questions on, on, on anything so far. Not yet. Tweepy's okay. good. So that's Tweepy. Um, Great. The last, uh, the last one we're going to talk about tonight is uh, Hootsuite. And I, I think it's the one that most people have probably heard about, that most people are familiar with. Mm -hmm. The Can you get away with the free one? You certainly can. Um, you can either you get a free trial with the uh, with with the paid version, but again, mm -hmm. it goes back to what is your time worth? What is, what is your value of what you're doing on social media worth? I certainly feel it's worth nine dollars and ninety five cents a month. This is one of the few sites that I do pay for, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm paying for it um, because of the value of it. I think once you see it in action, you're going to uh, understand a little bit more about the value of of, of it. So let's yeah. go ahead and jump to Hootsuite. 
And when you first log into Hootsuite, you're going to see where you can add another social network. So let's start here. Let's pretend I wanted to add a social network. Um, here's all the different networks that I can follow if I wanted to. I could add my Facebook account, my Google Plus account, my LinkedIn account, a Foursquare, WordPress, MySpace. Uh, the top three are the ones that I use the most in here. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to connect to LinkedIn, you can. So if you want to connect a social network, all you do is go connect with, uh, oh, by the way, Google Plus is not your personal page. It's your business page only. Uh -huh. So you can go in. Good to know. Okay. And there's a, there's, this is really cool. I'm going to show you why. I, earlier, remember, I was telling you how do you, how do you post stuff to all your different networks and, and do it where it saves you time. This is how. Now you'll see it across the top. I've got Mike J. Barnes Twitter, SEO and Twitter, best online marketing webinar, get known, mobile ready team, Mike Barnes. Look at all the other ones I have. Wow. Okay. Um, so what you can do in here is really cool. I can go to settings and I can go to RSS feeds. And you notice I do have quite a few in here for real estate, but if I slide down to Mike J. Barnes, what I do is uh, Social Times, they have an RSS feed. So I connected it to my Twitter account. And when you connect these to your accounts, what it does is anytime that, you know, the social media examiner, huge, okay, anytime that they are posting, um, for some reason, it might be because I'm on the webinar. Edit. Let me just do it this way. Let me go to add another feed. Okay. What I do is I select, I select the social media network. I tell it how often I want it to pull the feed. Mm -hmm. And then how many times to post. One, I typically go one post at a time. Uh, yeah. And then you can prepend the message. So if this is just going to Twitter, okay, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll go pound um, social media. So it's got that tag. Yeah. Okay. For, the, for those of you that aren't aware, um, the, the pound sign is what's called a hashtag, and that's what makes whatever is after it without any spaces, it makes that term searchable within Twitter. Yeah, and I got to – exactly, and that's the same with Google+, Plus, especially with Google, too. Um, yeah. Somewhere in here – and it might be lost down here somewhere. Um, I will have good feeds. If you see good feeds in here, let me know. Um, good feeds right under customer. No, what was in there? Yeah, there yep. it is right there. So what I do, I have a list of feeds, and a lot of these may be real estate, you know, because a lot of my customers are real estate. But mm -hmm. uh, here's one that's tech. You go to uh, um, CNET. And what you can mm -hmm. do in there is you can find, to, and you can do a search for any, just do a Google search for whatever niche you're in, um, mm -hmm. plus RSS feed. And then typically you can find RSS feeds. So here's mm -hmm. all the uh, different types of uh, RSS feeds that I can get from CNET. So here's, uh, wow. okay, here's Cutting Edge. Um, you know, you'll see this, uh, there's, there's Microsoft. Here's, here's one for you, yeah. Jim, the health tech. Right? Health tech, there you go, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what we do is we go to, uh, all I do is I right-click this, and mm -hmm. I copy the link address, because that's the feed. That should be the, oh, I clicked the wrong, yeah, that's the feed. So whichever okay. one I want, okay, um, mm -hmm. let's say it was the uh, Microsoft one, okay, I can right-click it, copy link address, and then I can mm -hmm. go back to my Hootsuite, and I can mm -hmm. add a feed, and I add the feed URL right there. And then I tell it what's, what network to post to. Instant content. And it's instant <laughs> contact. Now, you can post to, uh, like, for example, I can add that feed to my Twitter page, okay? But let's say, yeah. and, and then down here, I can add my Twitter tag, okay? So that's where you mm -hmm. put your Twitter hash. But you don't want that t that pound sign to go into Facebook. I just think that's corny, okay? Okay. So yeah. if I was going to post that tweet into my into my Twitter or into my Facebook page, I might prepend it with something else. Yeah. Okay. News or latest tech. News. Yeah. And okay. that too is being in the in the title 
that's also indexed because it's going to your Facebook business page. So it's indexed by Google. Yeah. Um, one thing yeah. I do recommend is going in and changing the prepens. Don't, you know, so what you want to do is we're talking about that uh, online social media schedule that you have, creating a yeah. manageable schedule. Um, mm -hmm. Once a month, go in and change the, 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 the prepending text. That's it. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's not it's not that difficult to do. Uh, I'm going to show you something here uh, as well that's going to blow you away. I'm going to start here. Um, remember earlier I was saying you, it's hard to see all the mentions that you get in social media. Wow. Okay, especially on Twitter. They're all right here. So I can retweet. I can reply. But, you know, mm -hmm. what I do too is for some of these people that – are really doing good for me. Like this, this guy here is huge in social media. I can mm -hmm. click retweet. Now, notice this is coming from Mike J. Barnes. But what yeah. I can do is I can remove Mike J. Barnes, and I, and I can. I, most of us may have more than one Twitter account, so yeah. I can go through and I can retweet him. On oh several wow! Accounts. To and, several at one time. Yeah, and you know what that does to him? He goes, "Holy cow! I just got retweeted." <laughs> By posting something about Mike J. Barnes, I just got retweeted five times. <laughs> Positive reinforcement for, them, yeah. for sure. Huh? <laughs> now, I, yeah, exactly. Um, so that's yeah, pretty powerful that way. The other thing, too, it has a scheduling tool. And this is for the non-geek. This is extremely easy, okay? Um, <laughs> I can schedule any type of a tweet that I want. So I put my, I put my message here. I put my link here and I can shorten it. I shrink it. Okay. Okay, so I can shrink that link. You missed your slashes. Uh, that's there it goes. It shrinked. It worked. Okay. And then I can <laughs> schedule whatever message I want to go out on the twenty fourth, on the twenty fifth, on the twenty sixth, on the twenty seventh, or whatever I want. Jeez, wow. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do too is if you if you use your like Facebook link, and, and that's mm -hmm. probably true with uh, the Google Plus too, but if you use your Facebook link, it allows me to add an image. Um, I can add, ah. an image. and that's true with all of them, by the way, but especially true with Facebook. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look as corny. You can add an image. So if you want to schedule images, if you just have a list of really cool images. How popular are those, right? Yeah. So you can go in and you can schedule images. Yeah. Okay. Just a, just a, a note on that. Last week in the webinar, we were we were talking about setting up a social media schedule. We had some uh, some data about the most commonly shared types of of content, and images are it, man. They are right there at the top. Images are huge, which isn't really a surprise when you look at what's going on. Pinterest and Instagram and Tumblr and all and Flickr and all that. So, yeah, absolutely, it's huge. So that, that that's um, I hope I gave you enough power there. But there's one other thing I want to show you, and I'm giving away keys to the kingdom here. So, <laughs> um, it's called Publisher. Now this is a little bit geekier, but um, you can schedule in bulk. Wow. So, Okay, now you have to know how to use an XML uh, S spreadsheet in, C yeah. in a CSV file. So it is a little bit more geek here. Um, and it took me a while to figure it out, and I'm pretty experienced at it. But uh, mm -hmm. you'll see what I've done here is I do have, for a lot of my clients, already scheduled stuff that goes out on a regular basis to all of their mm -hmm. social media networks. Wow. Um, and that's with an XLS spreadsheet. So mm -hmm. it automatically schedules it for you. Um, a lot of cool things you can do with, uh, with Hootsuite and a lot more benefits with the paid version for $9.95 mm -hmm. a month. Um, and let me show you this as well. Um, so you get somebody that mentions you and you have no idea who they are. With the paid <laughs> version, it gives you yeah. access to their clout score. It, it gives their entire profile, the date they joined, yeah, uh, their timeline, any mentions. Okay, so let's yeah. go to uh, this gentleman here. I know he's huge. Club score seventy nine, Jim. Wow, okay. that's big. Um, I can I can visit his website. I can visit his Twitter mm -hmm. page. Uh, I can visit his timeline here. Anything that he's ever posted, any mentions, mm -hmm. um, and then any favorites. And you're going to see. 
as we go down through here, I think he, well, it might have been a while ago, but he did uh, he did add me to a favorite someplace in there. But this, this does give you like a real good instant analysis of the people, um, you know, where they're from, from Germany. And again, down at the bottom here, where was it? So you can auto follow them back directly. Mm -hmm. um, right here, follow, unfollow, direct message, reply, or you can add to the list. So you can manage yeah. all of your different social media right here in Hootsuite. Mm -hmm. And that, Jim, I believe completes. Oh, you know what? We have one more. Uh -huh. And this Bentley. is. Yeah, Bitly is pretty cool for a number of different reasons. One of them is, uh, and the one that I use it for the most, as you can see, because I just created this one actually tonight for this. Um, this big, long, look how big that URL is. Yeah. HTTPS docs, uh, yada, yada, yada. Okay, mm -hmm. people are going to be scared to click that. Okay. <laughs> you okay. think? However, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I go in here, I can edit this. Yeah, so, so you can make it keyword rich, which is nice. Yeah, so when I go to send a message, it says it right in there, social media tool survey. That's great. So it helps people click, uh, it gives them a call to action. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, I've, and if you go in there and you grab these quick enough, you can grab your name. Like I've got Bitly Mike Barnes. I got Bitly mm -hmm. Mike J Barnes. I've got Bitly. Uh, you want to grab those as soon as you can because once they're grabbed, mm -hmm. they're, they're used. You can't use them anymore. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And, and then you can get your stats. And Analytics are huge. Yeah. You want to know what's working, what's not working. You might look at this and go, oh, one click, one click. You're not getting very many clicks, are you? Well, that's that's not true. <laughs> let's, let's, re, let's reorganize this. Let's go clicks on your links. I think that's where it was. Yep, there it is. So you, and this is what I showed you all last week. Uh, yeah. I've had 19 saves just on the SEO alien one. But uh, mm -hmm. clicks via your bit.ly link. 251 total mm -hmm. clicks um, so it's getting a ton of clicks and then I can go through here um, some company here 99 clicks um, <laughs> so you can see, see what's working that's just the bitly link so uh, it's a pretty cool tool for doing that but the biggest one is this so if you had a big long um, I'm just going to use this may not work let's see if this does work um, let's go to bitly and let's put in the link here and I want to edit that so it's not so funny. I, I can go mm -hmm. uh, great RSS feeds and let's see if that's taken. I just click the enter button and look at that. It's not taken. <laughs> okay. That's great. And then you can share. And that's especially uh, true with affiliate links if you're using affiliate links a lot. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you can yep. mask them to a degree in here and then you can share them on your social media. Well, let me ask you a question here, Phil. For instance, now with that. If you click it when it opens that that link, is it going to show the Bitly link or the original link? And I'll tell you why I'm asking that here in just a it's, minute. This isn't this isn't going, a setup. This is it's not a masking. It, it's it's going to show the original link. Okay, I believe. Yeah, see it jump back to the original link. Okay, that's that's good because here let me tell you something, friends. That's very important. For instance, on Pinterest, because on Pinterest they don't want to see your affiliate link. But once you click through, Amazon wants your affiliate link to come up. So Bitly would be a good tool to use with Pinterest. Try it out. Um, yeah. I, I just mask a lot of my affiliate links. Use like uh, The other thing, too, is with your affiliate links in here, let's say I want to go back. Like I have literally hundreds and hundreds of links in here. So let's mm -hmm. say I wanted to go back and find one of my affiliate links. Mm -hmm. um, I can use uh, flat like flex squeeze, <laughs> okay, which is one of my uh -huh. affiliates. Well, here's, yes, it is. Here's here's there all it my is. Flex squeeze affiliate links, mm -hmm. okay, and they're all in here. And then I can look at this one's been clicked forty one times, and and look at the why. 
why do you think there's a big difference between two clicks and 41 clicks? Is yeah. I, I masked the name. Mm -hmm. This one I didn't. So that yep. should be pretty good proof. And it could be where I put it as well. But at the same time, uh, that should just personify flex squeeze theme. People know exactly what they're clicking. Yeah. Yeah. So that's outstanding. Yeah. And that one's totally free, isn't it? Uh, Bitly is totally free. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of URL shorteners out there. Uh, mm -hmm. But Bitly is the only one that I found um, even better than Googly, the, the new Google one, because yeah. you, because of the way that you can mask the name and because of the mm -hmm. way I can go back and search and because of the stats. Now, I'm certain Google is going to one day update theirs to do something similar <laughs> just to rival everybody. But yeah. right now, Bitly is, is one of the few that I've ever seen that's as powerful as, as yeah. this one is. Um, yeah. Now there is a plugin for WordPress too. That every time you post a post on WordPress, it automatically turns it into a Bitly link. Really? Um, yeah. There's a lot of power out there for Bitly, so you can really keep track of uh, of what's going on. Hmm. So uh, at any rate, though, I believe Jim that completes <laughs> my list of powerful social media tools. <laughs> well, man, That's pretty good. Social media. That's pretty good because I understand, friends. Uh, there's no way we could cover half of a percent of everything that's out there. Just about Twitter. Um, a lot of a lot of you might be wondering why we spent so much time on Twitter uh, with between social room and uh, um, and Tweepy. But let me tell you something, Twitter. You you may have a hard time understanding Twitter to begin with. But the power, as far as extending your social media reach, is huge. There is no place other than Twitter that you can as easily reach out to and connect with uh, with people. Would, would you agree with that, Mike? Yeah, and I, I'd even go further than that, Jim, because in my years of you know using Twitter, I have to I have to without any reservation say that most of the best connections business-wise, B2B, mm -hmm. okay, uh, in, in my case, I've been through Twitter. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I could just wrap off a, a couple dozen of, of really good people that I've met on Twitter. It's, uh, yeah. I, I would have never met them without Twitter. Yeah. It's powerful, that's for sure. Um, so, again, for those of you who have doubts about it, uh, lay them aside and, and get, spend some time establishing your Twitter presence because it will pay off for you in the long run. And with these tools, it just makes it so much easier. Um, so, again, just fantastic content again tonight, Mike. Uh, for those of you who wonder, you might have seen these the various pictures of Mike online. This, uh, which you're looking at on the screen right now, that's what he really looks like. The other is kind of like a man suit he wears around. He, he truly is this this blue alien guy, you know. But he's you know a little shy about that at times. So that's what I look like when I take my straight jacket off. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. Well, well uh, I appreciate it once again, Jim, for letting me share this information with everybody and. For me, I'll be signing out, so I'll let you say goodbye to everybody. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you, everybody, for being on with us. Uh, hopefully, you get a feel for what it is that we're trying to accomplish here. We are trying to share as much content as we can and spend as little time selling as we can <laughs> as we help you with your online marketing endeavors. Uh, we uh, keep... An eye out on social media. We're here in Tampa. We uh, will be doing a workshop next week. Uh, it is a paid workshop, but it's uh, well worth the uh, the expense, minor expense, really, when you compare it with what you're actually getting. We're going to be teaching people how to uh, essentially become a social media manager. We're really, really going to be going in depth, and we'll uh, have a Wi-Fi hookup so that everybody can bring their laptops and uh, do, the, do the work right along with us. Some, some basically uh, very, very hands-on training. Thank you all for being here tonight. 
<laughs> just heard a tweet there. Uh, so we want to thank you all for being here tonight once again. We will be here again next Wednesday night. Uh, do we have a topic yet for next Wednesday yet, Mike? Um, you know what? I, I, Jim, I may not. I may be in the car headed to Florida next week on Wednesday <laughs> night. Well, I'll tell you what then. If, if that's going to be the case, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do next week on Pinterest. There you uh, go. Because that's when I've had several people ask about and uh, be showing you um, some of the tricks that I have gleaned from it, for, both from a standpoint of building your network there, but also um, a lot of people don't know Pinterest is the largest source of traffic uh, from any social media site right now. More traffic is coming from Pinterest than even from YouTube at this point. And a lot of people are not aware of all the different things you can do with it. So I'll be sharing a lot of information, making it very simple, and telling you the do's and the don'ts about Pinterest. Awesome. So, be here next week, and we'll share some more fantastic information with you. In the meantime, thank you all for being here. We, we kept it down to an hour and 15 minutes this week. Last week, we were pretty close to two hours. <laughs> we Probably tried to keep it to an hour. <laughs> we yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and usually fail, but we, you know, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully people appreciate the, the uh, value behind the content uh, that we're sharing enough that they stick around. Actually, you know, it's funny because I believe when we, we took a look afterward that uh, at the end of the two hours, we hadn't lost anybody. <laughs> I was amazed. So, yeah. <laughs> At any rate, before we lose anybody tonight, I'm, I'm going to sign off. Yep. And, and uh, okay. thank you. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Yep. Thank you all again. And we'll see you next week. And we'll be sharing some information on Pinterest. <laughs>